All right, so I was saying the angles that are between these two, I mean, these complex numbers, no matter how many they are, they can be four, they can be five, they can be six, the angles in between them are always supposed to be the same. So in this case, we've discovered the angles, the angles between the complex numbers are 90 degrees angles. That's why we found that between all these numbers, when you subtract them, we're finding 90 degrees angles. Yeah, so that is how you prove that your answer is correct or your, your complex number, your roots that you found are correct. Okay, so let's, let me just, I don't know if you are going to allow me to also solve another question for the sake of understanding. Should I solve another question or we end here? I just send an exercise. Hello. Okay, you're not talking. Let me solve another one. Okay, Brenda says we can solve. All right, let me solve the last question. Then we call it a day. So let me solve the same one here. So we have um, negative root three minus i. So the first thing I said, you have to convert this complex number to polar form. So we have um, the magnitude of that will be, yeah, so the magnitude, of, the magnitude of this complex number will simply just be the square root of negative root three squared then plus negative one squared. So the, 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 this will simply just be the root of three plus one which gives us the root of four, which is just two. And then we find the argument, the argument of this complex number, uh, let me just say theta, or yeah, the argument of this complex number will just be equal to, um, uh, this would be uh, negative, I mean, this would be tan inverse of negative one over negative the root of three. This gives us uh, 30 degrees as the angle. So let us try to trace where this complex number is. So we have zero there. So we have uh, a negative root three, which can be there, negative root three, um, negative i as the imaginary part. So negative one there. So the complex number is in the third quadrant. So we say 30 plus 180, which is, which is just 210 degrees. So we say the argument of this, so the argument of this complex number Z now becomes, um, is now simply just uh, 210 degrees. Okay, so that's the argument for this complex number. So now after finding this argument, uh, we can now, yeah, after finding this argument, we can now uh, find the values of k, I mean the k values. So the value of n, or before we find the value of n, let us first uh, write this complex number in polar form. So we have z to the power three is equal to, uh, okay, let me just erase everything to create space. So we know that the argument is 210, the magnitude is two. The argument is 210, magnitude two. Okay, the argument is 210. So the argument is uh, 210 degrees. Oh, sorry, I started writing what I'm saying. Okay, so the argument is 210 degrees. So we have Z to the power three is equal to uh, two and then cos uh, 210 degrees plus I sine 210 degrees. So this is what we have. So when we write this um, in the normal form where we find the cube root of Z this side and the cube root of this other part, it means that we'll have something like this. Z is equal to, uh, we have two, and then we have cos, um, cos 210 plus I sine 210. Then we do this, this will be raised to the power one over three to get rid of this three on Z. 
Okay, so now, having done this, we can now, uh, okay, from this, we can now tell that the value of n is equal to uh, three, and then the k values will simply just be zero, one, and two. Yeah, you don't have to include three itself, no. So from there, let me erase this. We can now quickly find uh, k0, k1, and k2. So k0, k0 will simply just be, uh, to find the angle, the magnitude, of course, will be raised to the power one over three. So the magnitude will be two to the power one over three, which is just the same as the cube root of, oh, sorry, I'm writing on k. Uh, so the magnitude of this complex number will simply just be the cube root of, I mean, this would be two to the power one over three, which is just the same as the cube root of uh, two. So to find k zero, k zero will simply just be the cube root of uh, two, then the angle we find the angle there. So the angle will simply just be, uh, the angle that we found was 210. So 210 plus 360 times zero, because we're dealing with k zero and then over the value of n is three. So 360 times zero, the answer is just, um, zero and then when you divide by three the answer that you get is simply just 70 so you have 70 there 70 degrees and then we also find k1 so k1 uh let me write it here so that we have the space for k3 okay so we also find k1 oh, sorry the space for k2 so we also find k1 so K1 will be, the magnitude will still be the same. And then the angle, so the angle for K, for K1 will simply just be um, 210 plus 360 times one, everything divided by N, which is, so the value of N is three. So we're going to say 360, plus um well, if you want what you can do is simply just you say three there one three there uh 70 then three there one three there uh is it 120 and then you say 120 times 120 plus 70 which gives us 190 190 degrees so we have 190 degrees so we also find K2 because we have the values of K are zero, one, and two. So we also find our last value of K, which is K2. So K2, the magnitude will still be, the magnitude will still be the same. Then the angle will simply just be, uh, the angle will be uh, 210. So the angle will be 200. Uh, 210 and then 210 plus yeah so be two, this will be okay wait let me just go back a bit okay so the angle will simply just be uh, 210 plus 360. So 360, the value of K is, um, uh, the value of K is two, then everything divided by three. So um, we have three there are one, three there are 70, three there are one, three there are 120. So 120 times two, we have 240, 240 plus 70, uh, that will give us something like, uh, is it 330? Yeah, something like 330. So, uh, is it 310, sorry. Yeah, so we have 310 there as our angle. So now let us put these uh, three complex numbers on the Agan diagram. 
So we draw our argon diagram. Make sure that you show that this is the imaginary axis, and then this is the real axis. So this is the real axis. This is the imaginary axis. So we can now draw the circle as usual. So the, the, this circle should have the magnitude uh, cube root of three. The cube root of three. Oh, sorry, the cube root of two. So the cube root of two, this one is negative. So you have the cube root of two. So it's also negative, you have the cube root of two. So we plug in the complex numbers now. So the complex numbers that we have, uh, we have, yeah, the complex numbers that we have, we have uh, 70, oh, sorry, yeah, we have K0. So K0, uh, look at me now. I was using K instead of Z. So this is supposed to be Z0, Z1, and Z2. Yeah, so let me just change the numbers. I mean, the letters, sorry. So this is supposed to be Z0, Z1, Z0, we have Z1 and Z2. So our Z0 is simply just, um, so our Z0 is simply just a uh, cube root of two. And then 70 degrees will simply just be there. Let me just approximate it. No, my approximation is wrong there. Okay, 70 can be somewhere there. So this is 70 degrees. And then this is my Z, uh, this is my Z zero. Then from there, uh, we can have Z one, which is 190. So when you subtract 190, um, when you subtract uh, 70 from 190, you get 120. So you measure the angle 120 degrees from there, from 70, you get something like, uh, you get you you get you you get an angle that would be somewhere there. Okay, so this would be your Z one. So your Z one is there, and then we've uh, discovered that this is one twenty degrees, and from there. Let us also subtract uh, 190 minus, I mean, 310 uh, minus 190, which gives us 120 again. So we measure 120 going this side. So 310, this is 270. So 310 can be somewhere there. So this is my Z2. Uh, so this angle is also 120 degrees. When you measure this angle, you discover that it is also 120 degrees. So this is how you draw your Agan diagram. Do you have questions before I can close the session? Yeah, so if you have questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so silence means that there are no questions. Yeah, so I'm sending an exercise immediately after this. Okay, see you in the next session. Shalom, shalom.